Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of New on Steam. Today we're playing a little bit more 20 minutes till dawn. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right in and select another character. So we got about four characters left. So uh, we're gonna try Luna today. When you reload, create a black hole that pulls in nearby enemies. Some of these abilities sound interesting on paper, not effective on paper, but in practice are pretty awesome. But the opposite has effect also, where some of these abilities sound great on paper, but aren't that great. Uh, these abilities are getting quite interesting the further you get along on these characters. Uh, we, we have enough to unlock all the characters, we just need to try to beat that temple level, which we've been trying to beat for a while now. So let's go ahead and unlock Luna, and we're going to do the sword since the uh, gravity pulls them in, and then we can just kind of... Just melee them to death, I guess, at close range. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to standard, go back to the temple, and do play. I will beat this level eventually, even if I have to do it off screen with a character that we've already played. Okay, so. Uh, oh, so the black hole is random. Maybe a ranged weapon would have been. A little bit more. Oh, it's not random. It's just at a distance. It's probably going to be a little bit more beneficial at a longer range and upgraded. So we're just going to go ahead and get our lightning early. Yeah, let's get our lightning early. Oh, the AE potential with the gravity and a mass amount of mobs. So. It looks like the black hole appears max distance when I empty my all my charges of my sword at the direction I'm pointing at. So uh, a directional weapon probably would have been a little bit more beneficial like the shotgun. Uh, let's do a little bit more lightning damage with the electro bug. So we're gonna go ahead and try a lightning build with this character. We will eventually we will eventually do more attack speed, but early on, uh, we just have a lot of potential with this. Okay, let's, we need to start grabbing some more XP. Enemies are pretty spread apart right now. Rapid fire. Let's go ahead and get the, after shooting your last ammo, smite nearby enemies. That's not going to trend well with my with my uh, explosion, my, uh, sorry, black hole. So let's go ahead and grab a rapid fire. Get that black hole out faster. I feel like with this character, we're gonna be able to charge at enemies a lot better. They're gonna be clumped up and they're gonna be at a distance because it pulls them back. Let's go ahead and do soul heart every 90 seconds yeah let's grab that the difference between that and the, the shield the holy shield that we could have picked is that the holy shield regens every two minutes so this just gives us a little 30 seconds more value per extra hit and we can get extra soul hearts i definitely should have done the shotgun with this character oh well Maybe next time. If we die early, we'll do it again. All light damage is increased by 12 and increase the area effect. Anything we can do to clump up enemies is gonna increase our power level. We're just gonna melt. So at least we can keep these enemies, these most of enemies at a distance now with the black hole. So the beefy enemies are dying so much quicker now. Uh, than normal because we invested into our lightning. When lightning strikes an enemy, there's 20% chance to automatically refill three of your ammo. Let's go ahead and skip that. Uh, we don't shoot fast enough. Summon an egg. Fire rate. Let's go ahead and get fire rate. And then we'll get the egg next time. Looks like not all enemies are affected. Like the big BV enemies aren't affected by the uh, black hole. That would be a little too broken. Uh, we did get hit. We ran straight into that explosion. 
So the lightning is really helping us out here. Uh, I don't know what hit me. The hitbox is looking a little off on that. Okay. Bullet speed, 30%. Spread, minus 15. We don't have to worry about the spread. Uh, or the bullet speed. Pickup range. Um, this, is, this is pretty crap upgrade. So let's go ahead and grab the bullet speed. So it flies out faster. Really, we want fire rate more than bullet speed. We haven't played too many of the weapons. Uh, I did pick the ones I liked pretty early. So we got our soul heart back, so it's been 90 seconds since we got hit last. I'm sure some of these characters have better synergies with better weapons, with different weapons. But I'm not a variety type of guy. I kind of find what I like and just stick with it. Uh, reload rate. Okay, holy shield. Now let's grab the holy shield. I'm going to skip the ghost. It comes a point where a basic summon late in the game doesn't really help you that much because the enemies have so much health. When black hole ends, it deals damage equal to your bullet damage. Ah, so now we want some bullet damage. The sword swing is a little interesting because I'm not sure if it's considered bullet damage. It probably is. But it's just, it's a sword. <laughs> uh, we're going to get cornered here if we don't, if we're not careful. Soul power, bullet steal 10% damage for each soul heart you have. So that's going to, uh, magic scythe. Oh, let's get the scythe. The scythe is going to be really helpful with the AE. But. The bolt damage was tempting after, since we do have a lot of health. So we're going to circle back to all that XP clump over there. That should get us a level. Let the lightning do the damage. Yeah, I say about the first 10 minutes of this, uh, each level is pretty easy. Let's go ahead and get the magic spears. Start building up our summons, since we're pretty good on lightning damage now. Until we get some more lightning upgrades. Okay. Yeah, we usually get to the projectile phase. Projectile phase is where it gets extremely difficult. And then the phase after that is the really beefy, the, the horde of beefy enemies. Okay. Let's comp up XP over there. So we'll circle back around, do a little donut. Okay. Took us a while. Took a turned on the moon, not turn instead of turning on a dime. So let's go ahead and get uh, more move speed and magic side damage. Even if we can't hit in the distance, our black hole will do damage from a distance. So we don't really have to worry too much about that. So we have some ranged. Boss came out a little early. Now we got some projectiles, so we gotta be a little cautious of that. It doesn't seem like uh, anything with a high amount of HP is really affected by the black hole. Although it does do some damage. We do have to aim a little bit with the sword. Aiming's not my strong suit in this. Did we get hit? I don't know. Uh, let's back up. Don't let the boss bum rush you. I'm hearing clicking sounds. The, uh, like the, the electronic clicking sounds. So I'm not really sure what that, that means. Okay, so holy arts after shooting, after shooting last time with smite nearby. We don't have to worry about that. Double shot. Don't worry about that. And close reload and move speed by 25%. When the holy shield's active, bullet bounce, fire rate. Uh, let's grab the fire rate. These bullets don't bounce. Ah, I got hit. My character's still too slow. Luckily, we have some HP. Let's grab the upgrade. Um, when we can. Got hit again. I'm trying to grab the upgrade. Max HP 4, bullet bounce, uh, move speed. Max HP. Yeah, let's grab the move speed. Oh, we are super fast now. We do got one last health, but we have potentially a lot of HP because of our extra soul hearts and extra pickups. Being fast does help for now. 
later on, not so much. Would have helped me on the boss, because it would have prevented me from being hit. But, that's in the past now. I wish I had less ammo with the this gun, or this sword. Get more black holes out. Oh, that's so nice on the projectile enemies. Enemies I hit from a ranged. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got. Smite, soul heart, gain soul heart, increase maximum soul heart ups by two. So potentially we can get a lot of soul hearts. Uh, bolt still. Okay, we only have so many soul hearts, so that 10% is not going to help. Maybe if we have tons of health, we'll worry about it later. This is so far not my favorite character. It does have a slower playstyle uh, than compared to the other characters. Maybe it's just my upgrades as of now. And there's not a lot of clearing potential with this character. Although it is interesting. There's a lot of running, but the only reason I'm surviving so much is because I have um, I have all this move speed. So just grab this XP. So when the horde comes later, uh, it's going to be a little more difficult. Magic side increase. Um, fire move speed, fire rate. Let's do fire rate on move speed or fire rate on reload. Reload's pretty slow, so uh, let's do even more move speed. Screw it. We're just going to go fast. We're going to be Sonic. The one thing about the gravity, it's so, it's a pinpoint. So there's not a lot to it. It does allow us to move a little bit in the forward shape, but we have to make sure the enemies can die. Summon attack speed increase, let's go ahead and grab that. After playing this game so many times, you start to figure out what your favorite upgrades are, because there's only so many upgrades in this game. We are doing a pretty good job on picking up all the XP. So, we are staying pretty consistent on our leveling. Not much we can do on that. We can't really over level. Okay. The best part of this character so far is the maneuverability. We can kind of sneak in and out of enemies. However, the enemies are starting to hoard up right now. Um, let's go ahead and get the dragon egg. Dragon is pretty beastly, but it is an investment. Okay. Oh, I got a, we're getting some good clumps with our black hole now. So we don't have to really worry about being surrounded too much right now, because we always cut ourselves a path. Uh, summon attack speed 20%. Your summons have 30% chance to call down lightning. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'm not even going to look at the others. All oh, that free XP right there. Hell spawns even more attack speed. Summon attack speed. Let's go ahead and grab that. There is burning and freezing damage with your weapon, but I, f I don't really find the effectiveness in that. Uh, just grabbing anything that helps your summons is just so much more beneficial. It's just so much more passive damage. Okay, so we have an evolution now. Death Sickle. After finishing reloading, deal a huge spin and tick that deals four times your bullet damage and applies curse. Light Blade. Max HP one. Cyclone Sword has 50% chance to smite nearby or smite enemies for 20 damage on hit. Hmm. Move speed 30%. Cyclone Sword's damage increased by move speed. Oh, we got so much move speed. We just we might as well grab that. Ow, I got hit. I don't know what hit me though. We are fast. I'll tell you that. If we can increase our fire rate, then just to get our AE spin attack out, uh, we, we, we can do some massive damage. Let's go ahead and do fire rate again and reload speed <laughs> i can almost not keep up with my character because he moves so fast or she moves so fast i noticed that all the like the characters are female 
Very interesting choice. Um. Okay, bullet damage. Yeah, we can do bullet damage. Walk speed, 100%. Reload rate. Uh, bullet increase bullet damage by 50% for one second after reloading. Let's go ahead and get that. Yeah, so all the characters are, are female, which is pretty cool. Because there's some pretty cool aesthetics they have. That each character is pretty different in terms of uh, stylization. We got a big clump of XP uh, up top, so we'll go ahead and grab that. We're still on the easy part. Like I said, the first 10 minutes, not so bad. When lightning strikes an enemy, there's 20% chance to automatically refill your ammo. We just skip that because we want spins. Bolt penetration, magic spear does 10 damage for every HP you have. Uh, we do have tons of HP, so we're gonna beef up our magic spear damage. However, the more we hit, get hit later, the weaker it's gonna be. We don't fire the fastest compared to some of the other characters. We don't dump our ammo the fastest, but uh, we can just completely walk over enemies right now. I've never played a, a speed build before, but it's pretty fun so far. Let's see. Mm, reload and move speed by 25% while Holy Shield is active. I can't guarantee Holy Shield stays up and it comes out every two minutes, so it's not a wise investment. So let's go ahead and beef up our dragon. So when it does come out, It'll be even beefier. Okay. The best part about this is we could just completely walk into the enemies. Okay, now we got the projectile phase. But we're so fast we can just dodge the projectiles. However, we do have to pinpoint our, our we do actually have to aim. Well, unless lightning takes up care of the enemies. Okay, now there's potential being having projectiles and being surrounded. So we do have to be careful. Like, we, uh, that was just bad positioning for me right there. Got hit. That was a little too fast. Okay, magic spear does 15 damage every time you gain a soul heart. Okay, summon damage sprawl 30%. Reload speed by 5% for every enemy killed. We don't have to worry about reload speed. Because we have to wait till the animation of the spin finishes anyways. Oh, I guess we don't. I guess we could grab the move speed. Huh! Got hit from behind. Okay, our dragon is out. Already a good, already invested in him, so he's gonna do some uh, decent damage. That gravity is actually pretty awesome. Um, it can take out tons of enemies at once. We don't have much range with this, so we consider that our ranged. So we're starting to get hit more and more now, so our spears are gonna be doing less and less damage. We really want to aim that towards a group of enemies. Uh, tons of XP over here, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Ah, uh, I walked straight back into that. Uh, when lightning strikes an enemy, there's 20% chance to well, you refill your ammo. Bullet speed, piercing dragon gains 15 damage every 60 seconds. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, smite is not the best option since we do move so much and we do have our spin attack so we got tons of damage coming out right now still not the most damage that we've done with characters with certain builds at least projectiles are so easy to dodge now okay so this is where the game gets a little bit more difficult this is where everything starts getting a little stronger. Okay, so Cosmic Burst. When a black hole ends, it shoots three bullets that deal 50% damage. Yes, please. Anything to get even more projectiles. Now, does it shoot the sword projectiles? Let's take a look. Yes, it shoots my sword projectiles. So it does a nice uh, spread damage. 
Not as much spread as the shotgun, but still enough. Let's go ahead and take out some of these. Clear up the screen a little bit. We're doing a pretty good job grabbing a lot of the XP, just because we're so fast. Okay, here comes the beefier enemies. And projectiles! Huh! We have to be careful. We have to start charging towards the enemies a little bit more. If I am getting quiet, it is because I am concentrating. However, every time I say that, I never shut up. So, catch 22. Uh, move speed 10%. <laughs> Even more move speed. Oh my god. When lightning strikes the enemy, there's 20% chance to... Okay. Summon the magic lens. Uh, it's too late for the ghost. Eight damage is not a lot. So <laughs> let's grab even more move speed. Oh, uh, we're just zipping around. The only bad thing about move speed is when you're surrounded. Other than that, there's so many benefits. Oh, I can't believe I dodged that flurry. Okay, and I got hit by the next one. So what enemies are hitting the projectiles? Okay, I see them. The melee enemies are just so massive that it's hard to see the smaller enemy that shoots projectiles. So we just need to aim our black hole towards them. Okay, it's a clear path. Oh, I got stuck on a pillar. <laughs> that wasn't good. Oh, that projectile was fast. Okay, I can't see the pillars and I'm running into them. Luckily, we got tons of uh, sword damage. So the enemies are dying pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm getting stuck on these pillars. I got one hit left. I really need to get a soul heart. I want. I need to grab all that XP down there too. What hit me? That's oh, my fault for being too aggressive and grabbing that XP. But I figured that I could grab a soul heart out of it. Okay. Um, that ends that character. Uh, really, we're just going to be doing like, if we get a good run like that, we're just going to play the character once. I really just want to see the characters and see if we can do a successful run or not eventually. Okay. Anyways, catch you next episode. Thank you.